Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, this, this is show, what's going on right now. This show has been nutty and awesome. Isn't it great. always like the best where oh. you're just like, you're running around and there's so many different things going on. Got rained on. Yeah, just a little sprinkle out there. You know what though? I got to learn a lot about grilling turkey. Yeah, that was actually really good tips. Yeah, that's and a little. I'm really hungry. It's a little over my pay grade, like as far <laughs> as my grilling skills. But uh, Joe from uh, Sullivan's was awesome. Oh, he's great. We've had yeah. such a great show yeah. today and we want to keep it going. So I know we talked to you guys about this. Our very own The Film Yap got to speak with the director of the documentary Mayor Pete, which was just released in October. It's available on Amazon Prime. Take a look. Hi, I am Christopher Lloyd with Fox 59 in Indianapolis. Hey, Christopher. How you doing? Very good. Very nice to meet you and congratulations on the film. Thank you. So uh, my first question is, uh, is what made you first start following Pete Buttigieg around? It did not seem like the obvious choice uh, for such a monumental undertaking. What seemed when he first announced, I think a lot of people thought it was sort of a tilting at windmills campaign. So what made you say, I've got to get in the boat with this guy and follow him around? Well, I love a good underdog story. I knew Pete was an up and coming star in the Democratic Party, even though he was just mayor of South Bend. It's not a traditional launch pad for a national political career, but um, but he's an unusual guy with an unusual story. And we reached out, the campaign had a staff of four, I think at that time, and we asked, would he be willing to let us in and show us what it's like to run for president? Not expecting that he would do well. I don't think he thought he'd necessarily do very well either. But uh, to our surprise, he did let us in. And um, also to our surprise, that campaign caught fire pretty quickly. I think for reasons that in, in hindsight are pretty apparent. I think his message of belonging was really resonant. I think he's really uh, an impressive candidate. And I think um, to his credit, he continued to allow us that access as the campaign grew and as, as the stakes got higher for him. Yeah, you know, one of the things I was really struck about the film was there was this constant theme of worrying about seeming authentic uh, that people maybe thought like he was putting on the show. But it seemed like a very intimate portrayal to me uh, and it just sort of showed this really is the guy he is. I didn't feel like he was ever playing to the cameras like maybe I've seen in some other uh, campaign documentaries like Journeys with George. Yeah, I, I mean, I think my perception of Pete was um, what you see is what you get. And uh, what I found to be true, um, spending so much time with him, is he is not a different person in private. Um, I think he's what you see, he's very poised, uh, he's very smart, um, thoughtful. Uh, that is Pete in private. I think you do see the struggle, though, to to try to connect emotionally with people. His advisors are pushing him, and you know, presidential politics asks a lot of someone. And Pete, it's not an easy process to go through. You see Pete struggle with that. You see debate preparation in the film, and um, you see him try to work that out. How do I be my authentic self and also give the news media, the voters, everybody around me, what they seem to need and want for me to be successful. And um, I think you see him negotiate that process. And uh, that's hard. It's painful. It's not simple. You see the relationship at the center of this film with Chastin, too, and sort of how that informs the process that he goes through. And I found that really unexpected, frankly. I, I, I mean, I didn't know what I would find, but to see Pete's kind of that, that, that question posed by Chastin of sort of authenticity which we ask, our, we ask ourselves about our elected officials, you know, what, what do, who, who are they really? Like, what do we expect of them? And does it, are there discrepancies between the public self and the private self? Um, I, I think that this questions of character, I guess, inform that, that, that thought process for us of like, you know, can we trust these people to serve our interests, right? And, and I think to, to see Pete have to be, have to kind of work that out for himself as the stakes get uh, exponentially higher, it was really fascinating. Yeah, my last question was going to be about the relationship with Chaston, and I, I just thought that was such a, an intimate look. And obviously, Pete is the focus of the movie, but in a lot of ways, I felt like Chaston almost is like the hero that emerged from the story. Yeah, I, I went out expecting to make a political story and did find a love story um, sort of hiding behind that. And and Chastin is very different than Pete. You know, he's very demonstrative and emotional in ways that Pete is not. And that their, their combination together, I found really, um, I love seeing it. And I love that they let me into their relationship and those moments of 
of tension and moments of tenderness. And it seemed very old fashioned, you know, going to Dairy Queen for dates, but also a gay couple, a married couple on the national political stage um, seemed like history in the making. And so I, I really connected with that. It helped me feel, feel balanced while making this incredibly disorienting. Um, I mean, going through this the disorientation of this intense campaign to, to sort of always see them holding on to each other helped me kind of hold on to uh, the campaign um, as it unfolded in front of me. And, and it, I think Chastain kind of emerges as the secret star in the film. Yeah, I, honestly, they come across as, as quintessential Hoosier couple uh, that uh, I think a lot of people from in Indiana can identify with. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, 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 you have that perspective, which is, you know, was somewhat new to me, but, but I, I, I sort of, you know, they're very rooted in, in place and P2 and, and South Bend. And um, I love spending time in South Bend with Pete as mayor, too. I think sort of doing two jobs at the same time was kind of fascinating to be, be being a presidential candidate and mayor of South Bend. And you see that in the first part of the film. Um, of course, there, 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 were, there was a connection there and that Pete was running on his record in South Bend, good and challenging. Um, but um, but the Indiana part, I mean, I, I much prefer being in Indiana, frankly, than being in, in other parts of the country making this film. Well, great. I see my time is up. So thanks very much. I appreciate you taking the time. Thanks, Christopher. Appreciate it.